Welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a few more minutes and examine some of the instructional characteristics of the adult learner, going a little bit more in depth into the adult learner's specific characteristics compared to what we did in the previous video. Uh, you may recall this uh, diagram where you have the adult learner and you have these issues such as need to know, self-concept, life experience, readiness to learn, context required, and motivation. What we're about to do is to take each of these six characteristics and discuss it in a little greater detail. First of all, under the need to know, uh, life is busy and adults are busy. Adults are actively engaged in the process of life. Take just a minute and think about the process of life and all of the things that that entails. It entails jobs. It entails families. I mean, it just, it just goes on and on and on and on. Adults are busy. And if you're going to ask an adult to learn something, then, then that, that, they need to know why learning that is worth their taking time out of their busy lives to do so. To take time out of this busy process to learn, adults may ask, how, how will this benefit me? And what makes learning this worth the effort? Well, as educators, we should not be offended when we hear these questions, but we should instead understand that these are very natural questions of people who are deeply engaged in life and, and considering whether it is worth their while to take time out of their busy lives to learn specific content or material or concepts. As a person matures, his or her self-concept moves from being a dependent personality toward one of being a self-directed human being. Uh, adulthood is where this transition occurs. Matter of fact, when we move from dependence to self-direction, the point we make that break is where it is generally considered that we become an adult. And, and because we have become self-directed as adults, adults want to be treated like adults who are working under self-direction. Um, the concept of self-directed learning is very much at the heart of pedagogy or an andragogy. In pedagogy, it's all about what the teacher can tell you, what the teacher can give you. But in andragogy, it's very much about what you can learn under a, a guided environment where you're treated like an adult and given an opportunity to pursue those things that are deemed important to you. As a person matures, he or she accumulates a growing wealth of experience that is utilized to make sense of the environment. Now, what we mean by that is that adults are experiential learners. Adults take their environment, take their experiences, and, and apply their experiences into the problems that they face in life. Uh, you'll hear adults a lot of times say, well, I tried that before and it didn't work. That's, that's a very normal response for an adult who says, you know, my experiences taught me that this, this won't work. And of course, the answer to that is, well, maybe there, maybe your experiences will show you ways that uh, we can make it work. How did you? How would you learn from the mistakes that are made and things like that? The difference between children and adults: children are generally analytic learners, and adults become experiential learners. And children are analytic because they really don't have the life experience that adults do, so they get by as best they can. Sometimes people make the, uh, uh, the, the miss, uh, I mean, they misapply uh, the results of IQ tests to say that adults are not as intelligent as children. Uh, I think that's a conspiracy brought on by children rather than adults. The reason that IQ tests may show older adults not doing as well is because all, IQ tests measure uh, a different type of learning than older adults are using. Older adults are experiential learners. And, you know, life experience is very much part of adult learning. And adults may know more than the teacher. And this can be very intimidating when you have a class and adults know more than an adult in there knows more than you do. But that's just a fact of life. For this reason, the teacher transitions from being the sage on the stage to the guide as you journey through the valley of the shadow of learning. Uh, and as an individual matures, 
his or her readiness to learn becomes oriented to the developmental task of social roles. In other words, how is this going to benefit me? Uh, the content must be relevant, life application is critical, and the content must be viewed as legitimate. Adults are going to make a judgment as to whether this content is going to benefit them or not, and if they don't think it's going to be of any benefit, why, why would they learn it? That's a pretty good question, isn't it? So if you're going to educate adults, you need to recognize that adults uh, want to see that the learning is going to benefit them in, in their developmental, uh, 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 developmental in the task of their, their social roles as they grow into what they want to become. If I want to earn a, I have a new fast flying car, and this is learning this is going to help me get more money, which is going to help me get that car that I want, then I'm more likely to do it. If learning this is not going to benefit me at all, and I have nothing to gain from it, then the question is, why would I want to learn it? As an individual matures, his or her time perspective moves from one of postponed application to one of immediate application. Uh, a child is learning something that they may use one day. An adult is very much interested in how can I use this right now? Uh, what is the context in which I can apply this to my life? And because of that, the shift centers from sub, is from subject-centeredness to problem-centeredness. Adults are problem solvers. They want to learn something if, if they can determine that it helps them solve problems in the immediate time frame. And of course, we note that adults sometimes simply enjoy solving problems. And, and many adults will learn things that they perceive will help them solve problems just because they enjoy solving problems. That's sometimes what being an adult is about. As a person matures, the motivation to learn is increasingly internal. Uh, personal responsibility is a very important part of adult learning. And adults want to meet the requirements of their lives, and adults want to be successful. Uh, recognizing that, that uh, uh, adult learners need to take responsibility for their own learning is very much part of andragogy. It's one of the defining hallmarks of andragogy in, in, in stating that the adult is responsible for the learning. Now, on the same hand, a teacher needs to be a good guide, but the adult is responsible for learning, and the adult will learn the material and be motivated to learn it if they deem that it will help them meet the requirements of their lives. And again, I repeat, I, I'm very much of the opinion that people, adults, want to be successful. They want to meet the challenges of their social roles. They want to uh, uh, meet the responsibilities of their lives, and when they perceive that learning will help them do that, they can become very highly motivated to, to pursue learning in a very effective means. Again, I want to thank you very much for your patronage. Uh, may the odds be ever in your favor. Of course, unless we're in the same event, then it's every man for himself. You have a blessed day.